California State Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez is going after the recall governor Gavin Newsom movement. In a tweet yesterday, Gonzalez claimed that the campaign is mainly led by, quote, national Republicans, anti-vaxxers, conspiracy theorists, and anti-immigrant Trump supporters. She also encouraged people to donate to help save Gavin Newsom. Joining us now to talk more about the campaign to recall Governor Gavin Newsom and also the tactics being used by some Democrats is the chairman of Rescue California, Tom Del Beccaro. Tom, good to talk to you. Thanks for taking some time. Always good to see you. And she's always good for a false quote, isn't she? Well, what do you think of Assemblywoman Gonzalez's tweet and also what appears to be these general tactics by Democrats, this kind of name calling for people who are supporting the effort to recall the governor? It's probably the best that they can do. Look, they attacked us back in December as we got over a million signatures and that backfired on them. This is childish. They won't they don't want to debate the issues because they know they lose on the issues. So this is just a tactic. I actually think it's going to help. Look, there's the Emerson poll yesterday showed that 58 percent of Californians, 58 percent don't want him as their governor. Uh, they don't want him to run again. Now think about that. At 58% in a blue state, that's a lot of Democrats. So this is going to backfire among Democrats that are against Newsom. About a third of them are. And they're going to say, look, if that's how your response to this, it will harden their opposition. You needed 1.5 million signatures to get it on the ballot. You got 2 million. Of those 2 million, do we know roughly how many are Democrats or independents that signed that petition? Are our early projections, not what has come in lately, but oh, 30, some 36 percent are non-Republicans, 50 percent, about 50-50 men and women. So it's a very diverse group. And in that Emerson poll, which shows that 58 percent don't want them to run in, for re-election, that inco- incorporates a lot of Democrats. So for them to just say this is a right wing attack is factually wrong. And again, I think it hurts them among the Democrats who have thrown up their arms with them, because when he shut down people's businesses or shut down schools or churches, that didn't apply just to Republicans. That applied to Democrats and independents as well. And we talk to business owners on a daily basis here on the news. Uh, We also go to rallies. We talk to parents. We talk to concerned citizens. And a lot of them say, I voted for Governor Newsom and I am going to vote against him and vote in favor of that recall. What are some of the issues do you think are especially driving some of these Democrats and independents and Republicans to sign that petition and try to have him removed? Well, this is a buildup. He he's, hasn't been effective at almost anything, whether it's the wildfires, the electrical inability to deliver electricity. Big Tech in 2019 warned him, if you can't deliver electricity in the state, we got to go. You, you had the wildfires. You So this has all been building. Then it gets to COVID. And think of all the kids that have spent an entire year out of school. Parents are tired of that, especially now, Logan, and this is what matters. They see that in Florida, the COVID rates are basically the same, yet they didn't shut down. And remember, COVID's in a lot older population. I'm sorry, people in Florida are a lot older population. So now that they're out there and they can see that Gavin Newsom's way didn't work and he hasn't built consensus, he's been basically dictating, those are the issues that are building up and are going to and are going to defeat him in this recall. Well, who do you think will defeat him? Because that's the next step. I mean, if a lot of people want him out, you've got to figure out who's going to replace him. Obviously, uh, former Mayor Kevin Faulkner is running a businessman, John Cox, who ran against him previously. What's the next step to actually have somebody take over for the governor? Well, so up and for about a month and a half now, they're going to be verifying those signatures. And then there's, then it goes to the secretary of state. And then they'll probably call for an election, uh, meaning that they'll certify it and say the election is going to occur. That'll probably happen in May or June. And then the election will be this fall. So it's not even till July until we to or maybe August when candidates can actually apply to be candidates. We have a long way to go between now and then because Gavin Newsom had a 64% approval rating in September. He had in February, it was 48%, I believe. And the Emerson poll had it at 41%. He was actually uh, nearly upside down. So where does that leave him? That leaves him more time to drop out 
And the farther he drops, the more people will get in. Tom, if people want more information on the recall, and then there it is, recallgov.newsom. Is that right? Well, rescuecalifornia.org is my pack. We, Logan, set a record raising $3.1 million for this effort. Uh, my two packs combined over $3.1 million. And people can go to rescuecalifornia.org and help out because we're not going away. We're going to go stay around for this whole campaign to make sure and see this through. I misread the uh, the super down there. Okay, great to see you, Tom. Tom Del Bacaro, chairman of Rescue California. Thanks, Tom. Talk to you soon.